And on our trip to South America, President Park Geun-hye will seek to secure more opportunities for Korea in the region. Our Choi Yoo-sun has the details. With a combined GDP of 6 trillion US dollars and a population of 600 million, South America, like the Middle East, is considered a region that can offer Korea a new growth engine overseas. Meeting with the leaders of Korea's four major Pacific Rim partners in South America, President Park Geun-hye will look to strengthen the partnerships beyond the economy to healthcare, education, defense, and ICT. In Colombia, President Buck will discuss ways to deepen the two sides' strategic cooperative partnership as well as help spur the implementation of the bilateral free trade deal now awaiting the Colombian Constitutional Court's approval. On a state visit to Peru, President Buck will attend a defense industry-related event. This as Korea seeks to export its light combat aircraft, the FA-50, to Peru, which is in the process of modernizing its defense capabilities. The third leg of President Buck's tour will be Chile, Korea's first free trading partner. Based on the bilateral trade pact and comprehensive cooperative partnership, the two countries are expected to talk about further enhancing cooperation towards co prosperity across the Pacific. On their final stop in Brazil, President Buck plans to secure more business opportunities for Korean firms in the world's seventh largest economy. Korean business leaders will also have the chance to network with their South American counterparts, and there will be cultural events to promote Korean pop culture. Aside from her economic diplomacy drive, President Buck plans to meet Korean residents who first settled on the continent during the 1960s and 70s as flower farmers, fishermen, and taekwondo instructors. Touting their achievements, she will ask that they bridge ties between Korea and the region. Choi Yoo-sun, Arirang News.